Here we have an original guitar that belonged to Leonard Cohen. It comes from his personal collection. He donated it to the museum. Lots of people come to see it. Leonard Cohen was very connected to his Judaism, even when he was a Buddhist. He is one of the heroes showcased by ANU, the Museum of the Jewish People in Israel. From works to objects, Revital Blumfeld presents the famous people to whom they belonged. Next to Leonard Cohen is American judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. During the last months of her life, she decided to give us her white collar. Ruth Bader Ginsburg created a trend, collars instead of Supreme Court ties and jackets. It was a very feminist act. It was important for her to donate these personal items to the museum. She was very much connected to her Judaism. She is the first person who ever placed a mezuzah at the entrance to the Supreme Court. Above her desk, she had hung a sign written in Hebrew, Justice, justice shall you pursue. Musicians, judges, philosophers, film directors, and scientists, all the heroes chosen by Anu Museum, the name which replaced the famous Diaspora Museum or Bet Hak Tfutsot, tell the contemporary history of the Jewish people through some of its most brilliant figures. The Diaspora Museum, which was founded in 1978, was far ahead of its time. For almost 41 years, there has been a permanent exhibition which has never changed. Over time, it lost its relevance. And we decided to design the new museum to talk about the Jewish people of today. And this Jewish people today is everywhere. It's not the diaspora and Israel. It's not over there and here. The Jewish people is not separated. It has no borders. Inaugurated nine months ago, Anu was born after 10 years of planning and construction and an investment of $100 million. It is 7,000 square meters wide and spread over three floors and features hundreds of original elements and references from the biblical period to the present day. It is the largest museum of the Jewish people in the world. Interactive content presents kitchens and even allows you to walk among the works made by great artists. The museum is engaged to tell visitors about all the beautiful achievements of the Jews throughout history until today. And that's what makes it unique. It is not about highlighting only dark times, persecutions, pogroms, wars. When you go to a Jewish museum in the world generally, that's what you expect. And here in Israel, we have the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial, which is an extraordinary museum and which only tells about the Holocaust. This museum here tells the story of the Jews, the whole story. On this wall, drawings by famous Israeli cartoonist Yermi Pincus, a tribute to influential Jewish personalities from around the world and from all disciplines. We are looking at a fashion creation by Albert Elbaz, the famous Franco-Israeli designer who died from COVID this year. A few weeks before his death, he came to see his creation, a special wedding dress with angel wings that was sewn with only one thread. He was a friend of the museum. Spinoza, Rosa Luxemburg, Mark Chagall, Martin Buber, and even the Cohen brothers, all of them part of the 150 heroes of the permanent exhibition at the Anu Museum. And there's even a hero of a cult classic, consecrated by its creator as his greatest achievement, E.T., the original, who is finally back home.